Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before the video starts, I just want to say that subtitles are available. So if I misspell or mispronounce a word, make sure you have subtitles, subtitles on just in case. Also, be sure to follow me on my socials, which will be linked in, this, in the description below. Thanks for listening and enjoy this video. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is a Horseman. Today I want to make a quick video giving you all an update on the MJ Studio leaks and what happened after the incident. Before we begin, make sure to click on the subscribe button if you're new and ring the bell icon so you won't miss my latest videos. Also, don't forget to donate and share the GoFundMe page linked in the description below. Any amount will help. Um, I also accept Cash App donations, which is The Artistic Horseman. That is dollar sign The Artistic Horseman. Thank you all who have donated so far, and now on to the video. I've already discussed the infamous leaks in the video I uploaded around the time the leaks occurred, which is linked in, which is linked in the description below. But in summary, in January 2023, one of the guests stole one of Brad Sunberg laptops at the In the Studio with MJ seminar in Brussels, with uh, with unreleased content Brad kept there. The laptop contained previous previously unreleased songs, sounds, and recordings of the King of Pop. Since then, some unreleased material was leaked online and shared widely on YouTube, which you can view in my playlist also linked below. Following the robbery of Brad Sunberg's laptop and drive during a seminar, Sunberg had has decided to cancel the upcoming pro upcoming event events in March, and all future events have been put on hold at the time. In response to the incident, Brad Sunberg collabor collaborated with Brus with the Brussels police to, to take to track down the culprit responsible for the theft. The motive behind the theft um, became a topic of discussion as the thief claimed to be acting in the fans' interest by offering the leaked material for free. Um, he criticized Sunberg, accusing him of profiting from Michael Jackson's legacy. This clash of perspective led to a tense situation surrounding the leaks. Since the end of March, as the investigation unfolded, the Brussels prosecutor's office closed the case about Brad Sunberg's laptop theft. While this decision might have been due to other pressing priorities, it was disheartening for those who sought justice for the theft and unauthorized distribution of the unreleased material. As for Brad Sunberg, who removed all references to the incident on social media pages, he resumed his seminars. The last one was held a few days ago in Amsterdam. This tour will pass through Munich, London, Paris, and Copenhagen in September. The MJ Studio leaks were unfortunate and had significant consequences for all parties involved. While the theft of Brad Sunberg's laptop raised concerns about the unauthorized distribution of Michael Jackson's unreleased, unreleased material, it also led a clash of perspectives between those who supported the leaks as a fan-driven initiative and those concerned about the industry's integrity. Ultimately, the case closure may have disappointed some, but it also signaled the need for vigilance in the safeguarding un unreleased artistic content. Well, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to discuss anything Michael Jackson related, you can leave, leave you can leave your suggestion in the comment section below. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.